Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Buying Things I Cannot Afford. And if you're sitting here wondering, Melissa, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen an episode of Buying Things I Cannot Afford. That is because they've never made an appearance on YouTube. I normally do these on like TikTok or Instagram because it's shorter and I didn't really feel like I had anything to talk about for 10 minutes. But I thought of a way to make it longer and to help myself. See, I have a bad habit of buying stuff and then I won't use it. Like, I'll buy shoes and they'll sit in their box for three months. Or I'll buy makeup and I'll just never touch it for... <laughs> till they expire. <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got today. And then I'm going to use the stuff that I got <laughs> in a vlog. So this is a Funky Fresh Buying Things I Can't Afford vlog. So the first place... I'm going to do it by places. is from Target. So this was inspired by this girl's tiktok her name is busy being shay she was just like making her bed and i fell in love with her bed set i washed that last night so it's not in its packaging anymore but it came like this <laughs> it's on my bed i'm gonna show you guys a picture this is what it was it was so cute it's like a jungle theme i think that's what it's called i don't know what the it's called it has a deer on it okay it's giving bambi and so i bought that and because i got that my sheet sets didn't really match anymore i mean i guess they could but i didn't really like them anyway but my sheets are pink so I got white one. The comforter was, should I tell you the prices? Mind your business, don't add all this up. But the comforter was $50. And is that normal for a comforter? Like why are they so expensive? But then I also got a flat sheet and a fitted sheet which are also being washed. They came in packaging. Um, these are cotton and I hear that they are soft. Uh, they have really good reviews on Target, but it's from the brand Threshold. The next things I got from Target have nothing to do with anything else that I've got. But I got these packs of shirts. They are men's shirts. And it is from the brand Goodfellow & Co. And they are classic crew neck t-shirts. I hope they don't make me feel like I'm choking. I got them in white and I got them in black. And I got them because I have some funky pants that I want to wear. And I just cannot wear them with the funky t-shirts that I have. And so then I have three more things from Target. So the first thing is the Josie Curls Curl Enhancing Spray. I don't really understand these because is this not a leave-in conditioner? Okay, it is supposed to... What is this supposed to do? Mm, it is a non-greasy formula that smooths conditions and adds shine but they also sell a leave-in so i want to know what the difference i couldn't get the leave-in i was going crazy because i just couldn't find it and all of them were at different locations and i just cannot go to three different targets that's just not happening <laughs> and then the next thing i got was the josie curls hair and scalp oil these are each 5.99 i thought they were 4.99 because that's what it says that's what some people get it for but for me it was 5.99 and i already have their curl pudding and their curl gel and before you come for me obviously i don't have curly hair i have wavy hair it doesn't normally look like this this looks like shit but they work well so leave me alone and then the last thing i got was the essie's nail polish i went to go do my toes like I don't know two weeks ago and when i was there this lady was leaving and she had yellow toes and i was like i want whatever color she has and they're like oh no she brought her own color so before she left i was like um <laughs> excuse me <laughs> what color <laughs> is your nail polish and she told me that it was the essie's check your baggage and that she got it at ride it bro i went to ride it it was not there it was not in stock in any target around me i ended up ordering it and it is this color and it doesn't really match the yellow on my nails at all um my nails look like this i'm proud of my nails my nails are very cute so that has nothing to do with this but i was just gonna show you yeah, anyway so i put on lotion but yeah i love this yellow so i'm gonna go get another pedicure with this color and my life will be complete moving on this is another thing that i got from amazon it is also in the wash right now i have issues <laughs> i don't know if i have issues i'm a particular woman all right i like particular things and i make my bed in a particular way the way i make it is like i have the sheet the flat sheet and then i put this i put a blanket over it you know so i'm warm but i only like a specific blanket and it's like a i don't know what it would be called like a woven a woven woven blanket so it has like the little holes <laughs> No, it looks like this it is also washing right now so that i can make my bed with a clean blanket but the brand is cotton craft and they're really good so i 10 out of 10 recommend my dog likes to like you know scratch you know dogs they scratch he scratched the hole in another woven blanket that i had but this one has held up so 10 out of 10 i got a book <laughs> and this is called a history of the world in 10 and a half chapters 10 and a half chapters by julian barnes 
and the only reason I got it is because this TikToker I really like recommended it and said it was her favorite book. I wasn't gonna get it because the what is it called? The blurb like kind of threw me off. I thought it was a little interesting, little I don't want to say weird, but interesting. It's like a retelling of Noah's Ark, but with like a cruise ship and then like the person's a passenger but they're not mentioned in the bible and i was like why is that your favorite book? i got stuff from color pop y'all ah, which is bad you know i was telling y'all that i buy makeup and then i don't use it yeah the color pop stuff that i bought last time i just haven't used it the first thing i got was a set of brushes this is the i want to say the stone cold i think that's what it was called like brush collection and i really don't need brushes but there's just so many <laughs> and i think it's only 32 dollars which is like not only 32 dollars but like for this many brushes and i love ColourPop brushes so i i got it i bought this is a barbie and ColourPop, and what do y'all think it is because it's not makeup <laughs> it's so little <laughs> it's a mirror but why is it so small? I hope the shock was clear on my face because it's so little. But look how cute it is. I'm ashamed to say it, but I will say it. I got dragged in by the Shane Dawson series. And I was like, oh, maybe Jeffree Star is not a bad person. And I wanted that mirror that was Jeffree Star approved so badly. I never got it. So I got this instead. <laughs> like five years later. I bought the Animal Crossing <laughs> collection. And here's the thing. Um, I have a Switch. Alright, my girlfriend bought me a Switch during the panoramic because I was bored. And she had a Switch. And my sister had a Switch. And my best friend had a Switch. And I did not have a Switch. And the reason I didn't have a Switch is because I don't like playing video games. <laughs> I don't like games in general. I don't like losing. I'm a bitter, angry person so i just don't play video games so, but she got it for me because i was obsessed with the idea of playing animal crossing let me tell y'all how we got to the tent and i turned off that switch and never turned it back on but i bought the collection anyway i just want to tell you that i'm not an animal crossing fan but i did buy the entire collection and the last i have no shame i'm not really gonna go through it it's the entire collection so like it came with three lip kits it has four palettes it has what the hell is this are these the palettes oh they're so little Look at my big ass head, this is so cute. Um, so it has that, it has two blushes. Came with some stickers, I'm gonna put this on my water bottle. My emotional support water bottle. And then what is this? This is a glitter gel, I probably won't ever use that. And this is a super shock shadow. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I only have one box left. This video right now is 16 minutes of me just showing stuff. What does that smell? So sad. Last box is shoes. And if you're wondering, what the fuck, bitch? I work at a shoe store. Leave me alone. What else am I gonna freaking do but buy shoes? Okay, I bought four pairs of shoes. The first one is I got the navy blue Converse. I got the white high top Converse. And then these last ones, they also have a funky fresh story. So, y'all know, H2O. <laughs> my girl Ricky was my idol. Loved her to death. And if you know that she wore all black Converse, then you know. And then this is the big reveal, all right? Like, this is the big thing that I got. These are a pair of Birkenstocks. And they are the Mayari. And I know people don't like Birkenstocks or whatever, but get with the trends, guys. All right, they're cool. They've been cool. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. They hurt like a And I'm such a baby when it comes to breaking stuff in that it took me four years to break in my, like, the classic Birkenstock. And that is the last thing that I bought. So I'm going to go take a shower. And then I'm going to come back and do my hair and do everything else. I made a mess in my room. I'm going to fix that, too. But yeah, oh, I'm gonna make my bed. Should I make my bed first? I'm gonna go see if this stuff is dry and then I'm gonna make my bed. Okay, bye. I spent two hours doing nothing. I could have showered, could have went to do my nails, but I did nothing instead. 
and then when I was gonna do something, you know, I decided to do this. Um, I didn't have any storage on my SD card, and then I tried to free up the storage, but then it still said it was full. So then I had to Google how to fix that. If you have an SD card and you try, oh my god, my legs hurt. <laughs> you try and empty it on your Mac, you have to delete the trash, and then it goes away. Uh, pro tip, all right, that's what I learned. So I'm gonna make my bed now. So, I have to take a shower. Um, I need to clean, but I don't know where I'm putting this stuff. So, I have to figure out where to put this. And then, I'm going to take a shower. And then, I'm going to do my hair. And then, I'm going to do my nails. And then, what was I going to do? My makeup. Ah. <laughs> I know I said I was going to go wash my hair, but that was 20 minutes ago and I haven't gotten up. I just wanted to show you guys where we're at right now. So, I can show you what my hair will turn into this. I don't even remember the last time I washed my hair. Uh, it's disgusting but normally I'll go like a week I'm gonna show you the back <laughs> I just I get so tired so I'm gonna try these out when I get out the shower and I'm gonna go in now I just want to show you guys where we were starting so then we're starting at a bad place though so then we can see where we end up but look, Phantom likes the bed. Beautiful. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. And yes, I'm wearing my pajamas still. I didn't want to get my shirts wet. Here's the thing. I'm really upset because I really wish that I got the leave-in conditioner because I normally use a leave-in conditioner. I'm trying to think of it like a science experiment, right? So like I have these independent variables, right? So is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> Um, it's, I want to make sure that I'm saying it right because I sound dumb. Okay, yeah, so science experiment. There you go. Independent variables. You know, if you have too many independent variables, then you won't see what the change is, which is the dependent variable, which is my hair. That makes sense. I know it does. All right, so I already have two right here. So I'm thinking I need a constant variable, which is a leave-in conditioner I already like and I already know is going to work. But then, but then I'm thinking of it like, what if this makes this better? But then, I don't want to do my hair without a leave-in conditioner because I always do it. And this is just a curl enhancing spray. Like, I just, I still don't really understand what the point of it is. Because it's not a gel, and it's not a leave-in because they already have a leave-in and they already have a gel. And they all have, they also have like a curl pudding, which I think of like a curl, um, like a curling cream. It's really good. So, what is the point of this? What is it going to do? I don't know. I'm gonna use this as my constant variable. All right, this is a blueberry bliss, the curls blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner. I really like it. Look, I, I I used half of the bottle. All right, I like it. It works well. And then I'm gonna put this and I'm put some hair and scalp oil. Looks so beautiful and flat-headed. Let's see how this spray sprays. Ow. That was almost in my face. Oh, it's a good spray. Okay. I, I don't even have a mirror. I'm just like doing it. Probably spraying it the wrong way. Okay, now we're going to take this hair oil. <laughs> First of all, is this bottle empty? <laughs> what the fuck? Gotta put it on the bleached part because my hair is fucked up. Surprisingly, there are no split ends. I think because it's dead, so they can't form split ends because they're not even alive anymore. So why would they bother to split at that point? 
this is like the third time I've bleached my hair here like in this section so I can't expect that much from it alright it's literally just trying not to fall off at this point my hair is not fully dry because yeah it's just not fully dry I don't care um <laughs> I think it looks nice I haven't seen the back yet so I'm gonna show y'all and then y'all tell me if it looks nice I don't know if it's gonna hold you know um i feel like tomorrow i might wake up and it's just gonna i don't really want to do my makeup anymore <laughs> i'm tired i did lay in bed for a long time but i want y'all to know that i've had some very long days lately and i deserve to lay in bed today so i'm upset i put on the black shirt you know it's a little if you, I literally feel so suffocated right now. I don't know why. And I put on the pants and I'm like, oh, this looks kind of cute. Tell me why the pants are ripped. Tell me why the pants are ripped. <laughs> they look like this. <laughs> Did you see the freaking hole? Do you see that? That is my skin. Y'all, let me, I'm gonna show y'all what I was planning on wearing today. There's so much stuff in my way right now. And then, you can see the shoes. The shoes. But that's what I wanted to wear. And now my dreams are ruined. I'm so upset right now. I don't even, don't even wanna talk about it. First of all, I just look back over my outfit and it's gonna give, it's gonna get a six out of 10. <laughs> Kinda ugly. Um, whatever the shirt is great it's black and it's plain and it fits 10 out of 10 shoes 10 out of 10 these pants are really getting me tight right now i bought them at the thrift store like they was not ripped when i bought them i feel like that's something i would have noticed because <laughs> i tried them on when i got home like man this is crazy whatever i'm nice my mom to sell them but i'm gonna still go get my nose on because that, if this day has been leading up to this moment right here and we're gonna go um yeah, I don't know about the makeup. I don't know if the makeup's gonna happen today. I'll let y'all know if I do it, you will see. <laughs> but I'm gonna go do my nails right now. Mm. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is literally um, four days later from when I last filmed my buying things I can't afford uh, because I wasn't home. <laughs> but I'm home. And I wasn't gonna show you guys the like ColourPop stuff, but I am. Also, my camera is dying, so I hope I can film this before it dies, because that's going to make me unhappy. This is a mirror. I'm not I'm not gonna use it. I should use it, right? Like, I'm not gonna use it. Why'd you get it then? Why did you get it if you're, how do you get this out if you're not gonna use it? Also, this is uh, the Target shirt in white. It's kind of choking me, I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyway, I'll be back when I finish doing some of my makeup. Okay, I'm back. I don't think it looks that bad on camera. <laughs> Yo, this thing does not match me. Um, it kind of matches my like arm a little bit. Am I crazy? No, it definitely kind of matches. But my face is so pale um, from like sunscreen and lack of sun. Like I've been in at the beach, the pool, literally anywhere uh, the entire summer. It's August, so like two months. I feel like it doesn't look that bad. If it looks bad, don't tell me. Just, don't tell me because I will cry <laughs> I did use this brush for my bronzer can you even see the bronzer you can see my dark marks though because it was not covered because there's a skin tint mm, I don't know if you can see the bronzer but I put some bronzer on uh the concealer did my eyebrows do my eyebrows look bad they don't look good listen I'm about to take this off it dirtied my shirt and I got mad so I'm gonna take this off after I do it uh the thing is that I just wanted a base so when I put the blushes on y'all can see it I feel like their blushes are so pale like this is their pink blush is it gonna show up? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then that's Flower Power. And then this is Flower Tender. So I kind of like this one more than that one. But I'm gonna put both of them on my face so you guys can see what it looks like. I should zoom you guys in, but my skin really doesn't look good. But you cannot see me. So let's... How do I zoom this in? I don't know. So we're gonna try this one on this side. And then we're gonna do this one on this side. And I'm gonna look crazy, but I'm gonna take it off. So it doesn't matter. Let's do... Let's use a, a brush from our kit. Is that a lot? It sparkles. That's going to be nice. Actually, I think it looks pretty. The sun is 
doing a little too much right now, but we will continue. Um, so that's that one. Let's do the pink one. Oh, my brush is literally just like falling apart as I use it. That's rude. I really like this brush. <laughs> I went, I went a little too hard. I'm not gonna lie, but like, I like when I can see my makeup. <laughs> I think I like this one more just because this is more cool toned. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, and I'm gonna use it as a little highlight. We're going 2016. Is this blurry or am I crazy? So, this is a Super Shock Shadow. It's gonna look like this. I don't know if this is supposed to be like an eyeshadow blender. I feel like it's very big. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's more like actually for highlight. So we're gonna do do oh it's like a glitter. This is not working the way I thought it would. It's the fact that this is glitter <laughs> more than it is a glow um that gives it 2016 vibes. And I still don't hate it, so I don't care. Again, see I just won't be caring about nothing. Just here for a good time. These are so cute. I'm screaming. Today I might actually turn my switch on and play Animal Crossing. I might. All right, so I want to use two because I have two eyes. This one speaks to me the most, all right? It really, it's so simple, so fall. I wish I was in fall right now. I hate being hot. This, and because those are the ones that I really want to use, I'm not gonna use them because I'll use them on a regular day. like. Is nothing to use that but the purple purple scares me all right and the green terrified so we're gonna use these and we're gonna dirty the shit out of our brushes when we use them all right so it's a quad which means that your entire look is right here I'm thinking that even though there's only one matte shade like what the fuck <laughs> that they must be um what is it called shimmers instead of glitters and shimmers are easier to like blend out so we're gonna obviously go in with this one and this the light and then the dark and then a sparkle light dark sparkle uh that is my knowledge of the way makeup works but while i'm doing my makeup if it looks like nothing is sticking to this region it's because i have a rash on my eye and like the skin right here just peels off but that will not stop me from putting stuff on top of it i'm gonna go in with this color let's see what happens put it in my crease Ooh. <laughs> should I zoom in more okay but don't judge my ugly face I'm just gonna pat this down I'm giving y'all instructions like I know what I'm doing I really don't do you see my brush this is so f***ing stiff it it totally has look at that oh my god it has soap in it ah there is sparkle literally everywhere which i feel like at least i should have gotten two shades without sparkle like at least so that's what i did now i'm going to go into the dark green color with the same brush because i can and this is going on the outer corner right what's up and now we are blending. I don't feel like this is a good use of the palette because this brush does not work. <laughs> ah, it looks ugly and I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> Great. I don't like anything about what I'm doing right now. Here's the thing. That's the prettiest freaking color i've ever seen in my entire life oh my god ah, this color is so pretty this sparkle is everything girl if i knew how to do my makeup better this would be a 10 out of 10 this color is it's this color it's ceo so pretty also my camera's about to die so i'm coming back um and do the other eye all right <laughs> i'm back um for this eye i did some winged eyeliner i feel like that really pulled the look together it looks really nice like that now 
and this eye i didn't because i feel like it didn't need winged eyeliner i think it would have looked nice with it but like but i really like it i think it looks cute i look crazy which is a good thing that i'm going to take it off but we have one last thing guys and that is me trying the lip kit so there's three of them this is fruit basket this is fruit roots and then this is pick of the bunch i feel like i'm gonna like this one because this is gonna be like brown right and i like brown i have nowhere to put any of the stuff like once i'm done doing this i don't know where to put it oh this is kind of brown Ooh, i like this one oh this is like a berry though mm, i love me a berry let's do a lip liner to try and like you know save this from being disgusting i overlined a little bit i think but it was by accident because like my hand be like oh this smells so good <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs> i know i said i wasn't gonna do it and i did a whole other outro in the other video and i was like yeah i'm i'm done i'm not gonna show you guys the rest of it i lied and here i am thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you made it all the way through because i feel like it's gonna be kind of long because i did do a lot of stuff <laughs> but i had a lot of fun making it it was more fun going in debt and actually like using everything that i buy because it really will just sit there. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you don't know what to comment, please comment a shopping bag because we went shopping today. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Have a funky, fresh, fun for the rest of your week. Bye.